Tastes great at your Junas. Ladies and gents, welcome to part 108 of Persona 4. And in this episode, we're going to be unlocking the last social link of the game that's not story based. And that is Naoto's social link. We might as well get that unlocked. So all we need to do is talk to this shady man right here in the shopping district north, which would be right across from Aya, with Max 5 Knowledge. <clears throat> and this is an easily missable social link just like Kanji. For some reason, Kanji and Naoto has the most missable social links in the entirety of the game, yet everybody else is automatic. What the hell, Atlas? Seriously. We shouldn't have to go through such great links if they just can come on no problem. Especially when they decide to join the team anyway. It just doesn't make sense. You're just adding a hurdle. But whatever the case, now that we've got that, if you have the postcard and also level 5 courage, Naoto will be in the practice building if I'm not... No, actually Naoto will be right in front of the guidance counselor's office. And once Naoto's at level 3, THEN you'll be able to get the Yasugami, um, costume. And we'll probably get to that once we, you know, get past the events of November. So on that note... Naoto is, uh, pretty much dumbfounded. But, uh... Seeing as how you have the postcard, and how you have the courage, now it's time for us to actually go over to where she needs to talk to you. Okay. With that postcard, you just say a man with black sunglasses. Hmm. And that will pretty much uh, shake off any suspicion. Or I should say the man who I know knew you well, but that's any answer. But the one answer you should choose, I forgot to mention now till actually reverses. Yeah, this is the other social link that actually reverses. It doesn't break like eyes, but now till actually reverses link. So just say I can't back out now. That's the answer you should give. And that will give you enough uh, points for you to actually rank up to rank two. So on that note, Naoto will be available, but here's the thing. The first five ranks, thankfully I have Fortuna, because Fortuna is easily fusible. The first five ranks you have to meet up with Naoto in order for to actually continue on with the ranks so that way you'll be able to get all of her abilities however she's kind of forcing you in because this is sort of a mystery. I might as well let you in on that now. <clears throat> but here is the vital splash card of the game! Naoto's fortune link Although she's available every day and learns my charge, Heat Riser, and Invigorate 2, she can reverse at rank 5, needs courage and knowledge to start the rank, easily missable, and all the Fortune Persona must be fused. And if there's something else I'm missing, oh yeah, she does not show up on rainy days either. And if I'm not mistaken, Friday is the only day she's not available. I mean, she's the only one in the entirety of the cast that's available on most holidays and stuff oh, like that home since home? she's no longer on the force. So on that note, <clears throat> it'll be easier to max her out than what it will be to max everyone else out. There are gonna be spend time moments with her, so bear that in mind. Anyway, we've got pure assassin for Teddy, and that is Teddy's best weapon until we actually start beating up the Reaper. Oh God, yes, we need to beat the shit out of the Reaper. Because, let's face it, we need to. And plus, Pure Assassin will give out poison, and look how much damage that Teddy will be able to do. So on that note, we're going to be going to the shopping district, 
and we're going to be meeting up to tutor. Or, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, we're probably going to tutor. No, we're going to be the hospital janitor, actually. And, oh, oh, we can get rank 10! What? Oh, that's what's up! We already got rank 9 last part, or two parts ago, but we finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. The devil is done! Or is this rank 9? No, this is rank 10, we're done! Woohoo! You could always come back and get some more money from the devil, but still... <clears throat> we might as well just say, uh, is this, emer is this an emergency, I think. Oh wait, no, no, this is rank 9, never mind. Sorry, I thought this was rank 10. Oops. My bad, this is rank 9. I jumped the gun. Oh man, that was... That would have been something if it had been rank 10. But you will see rank 10, don't you worry. I'm pretty sure that would be part 109 or 110. And let me just make a correction. Part 111, which would be the opening of oh. Heaven, is next Monday. Okay, let me rephrase that. Monday, because by the time we get to um, part 110, it would be Friday, then Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Oops, my bad. So it would be probably go premiering Monday the... Um, 21st or something like that? Hmm. Yeah, I think it would be the 22nd, actually. But still, with everything that has gone on thus far, we're going to be close to finishing the game. But for right now, it doesn't matter what you pick. This is a free one. I mean, the first answer you need to pick. The second answer, you, it doesn't matter what you pick, because you're going to have to spend time with Sayoko probably one night, and then afterwards, you could get rank 10. But hold on, let me check the <laughs> calendar right quick. And that would be Monday the 23rd. That's what I meant to say. That's when we're going to start Heaven on Monday the 23rd. It's a really big part, by the way, so bear that in mind. I'm warning you all out in advance. It's literally 40 minutes. And we'll actually start Heaven. And more than likely, we're going to keep doing social links after that. Until we reach December. Which, by the way, December is a really short time. But I'm going to tell you right now, we're probably not going to be able to finish no. the game until the year is over with. And by the year, I mean the actual year in real life. But on that note... We're probably going to be um, starting the cultural festival pretty soon. So, I'm looking forward to the Cultural Festival because a lot of funny things happen. And God do they f ever. And if I'm not mistaken, something funny is about to happen right now. The infamous beauty pageant. Oh no. On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, 
Oh, Rise Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh, man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow. Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chihei's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <laughs> Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. Just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! Oh crap! Hey, do you to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Ted's behind this, too! We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it! You know? Seriously! Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? 
What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. Ah, Yosuke, you really are trying so hard, but let's just face it, life is going to probably kick you in the balls, just like Chie did back in part one, but whatever the case, you're back. It's time for us to either go to bed or, oh, we're going to work as a tutor this time. Fantastic. Or we could work as a janitor, it doesn't matter. Oh, right. Um, I was trying to get the, uh, I thought I skipped it, but I was trying to get the prize, and, um, <clears throat> I forgot that I made top 10, so I didn't get the prize. If I was making the top of the class, I would have actually gotten a, uh, item that would have reflected magic, basically, or protected me from magic, but whatever the case... Let's just go out and probably rank up Sayoko, or for the most part, get one more spend time with her. Because when it comes down to um, Tower, I'm skipping all the way up to rank 7. Because <clears throat> the sooner we get... Oh, we got to spend the time with her. That's okay. The sooner we get... Um, devil done the more time we'll spend on tower and more importantly I'm probably gonna spend time trying to catch the river guardian first and then eventually catching the sea guardian in the daytime if I didn't have anything else left to do specifically on rainy days so on that note it's time for us to start ourselves another cutscene and probably the blowback of what Yosuke did just recently
Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. Damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this. So I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. Little, this is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! I know, right? You heard him. This is absolutely out of the question. Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. What? Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. Yeah, you're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> See what I mean? 
when I say that life hates Yosuke. See, he brought that on himself though, that's the thing. When Yosuke thought it was a good idea for him to sign everybody on to the beauty pageant, he didn't know that that came with repercussions, so now everybody in the guy side is dragged into the cross-dressing beauty pageant. Oh god, have mercy, that's gonna be some fucking funny shit. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in part 109 as we continue on to the cultural festival. This is RVN95. November is coming.